I'm counting 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I'll tell you why now. 24, 25, 25 chews until that giraffe decided to swell, swallow uh, the ball of cut that it had regurgitated. So sorry about that. I was just doing a little experiment there. And we'll try and count it again to see if we can get an average on how many times a giraffe actually chews that ball before it does a big swallow. It should regurgitate another ball. There it is. And he's a lovely looking fella. I haven't seen giraffe in quite some time. Well, I saw a whole lot while I was on holiday. Uh, the Mapungupwe is filled with them, which is really quite nice to see. But this is a beautiful big male. You can see just by his darker color, he's also got a couple of scratches and scabs covering his body but that's all just from battling it out with other males or might have had an itchy patch on his body which he then rubbed the hair away sometimes that happens well it doesn't sometimes it happens actually quite often with the animals out here especially with all the parasites that they have on their bodies now i don't see any ox peckers just yet which is unusual seeing as though it has warmed up i thought that they would have already taken flight for the morning searching for a target to land on and i think the giraffe must be one of the easiest targets to spot from the tops of the sky seeing as though they're heads well, one of the few heads that actually peer over the bushes He's beautiful. I don't know if there are any other giraffe around here. He is looking around quite a bit, but he could also just be watching over his shoulder. But with giraffe, they do communicate through body language, so we don't necessarily always hear what they have to say. They're fairly silent creatures, creatures, creatures. Besides, for the odd little snort, snortish, it's a strange noise when they're alarmed. It sort of sounds like they go. So it's not even a snort. It sounds like they've. Well, how I make that noise, I put my, put my tongue towards my teeth and then I just blow air. And they do something like that. But other than that, I haven't really heard them make too many other noises. Other than them chewing. If you're close enough, you can hear a giraffe chew too. Hello, boy. You're listening to what I've got to say about you and telling everybody that I'm talking absolute nonsense. Only half a body hidden behind that silver clust leaf. But he's a beautiful boy. He'll be in the prime of his life now. He doesn't look like a small youngster, so he's probably closer towards 20 years old, maybe already even in his 20s. But we can only gauge, as we haven't followed this particular giraffe from birth, so it is very difficult to tell how old he is. But it is, anyway, difficult to try and keep tabs on wild populations of giraffe because they don't hold territories. They sort of just move around. Now, Mad Max, you said that this is the most beautiful sighting. I'm glad that you're enjoying it. The giraffe are few and far between, but again, we'll start to see more and more animals as the vegetation thins out. We, we, we very much, unfortunately, we're sort of stuck only being able to see sort of 30 or 40 meters off of the road. But when winter comes and the bush willows start to lose their leaves and and the grass dies down we'll be able to see much further and then we'll be able to start to spot a lot more animals too you'll be surprised as to how many animals are actually just all feeding on the other side of a drainage line and we we know we don't even know that they're there hey big boy they are lovely animals aren't they and i think it's i'm well i'm a little bit um I'm a little bit jealous of Brent being in Kenya because it's one of my favorite scenes is to actually see a well to see giraffe walking over massive open plains and we don't have too many open plains in this area unfortunately um, we're obviously quite limited it's sort of quite woody here lots of little drainage systems I'm just trying to hear the name hmm <laughs> not Oh, Tigger. Yes, here we go. So Tigger, that's, that's the name I was just trying to hear. You're wondering, how many chews does it take to get to the center of the juicy grass? I don't know if I heard that correctly. Um, I'm not sure. Should we count again? Let's try again. So, d d I can't hear that word shut <laughs> down. It's all coming out as mm -mm, grass. I can hear the word grass. So we'll, I'm not sure what that word was there. But anyways, let's count again because... Uh, you can't just take one amount as they've chewed. You've obviously got to do a couple of uh, sort of attempts and then go from there. Okay, now there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 34, 35. 35 chews that time before it swallowed its food. So that must have been quite a large ball. So you can see it varies uh, um, from ball of cud to ball of cud. But what I do love to see is that you, you see the giraffe starting off with chubby cheeks like it was put doing having a marshmallow competition. And then as it starts to chew, it obviously gets smaller and smaller and smaller before it eventually swallows it. Now there's pill spotted owlets here as well. You may have heard them call just a moment ago. They're sitting in the shrub, so we'll listen out and see if we can pinpoint their location as well. Now he's eating. Now sorry, Chantal, please may I have that question again? I'm for some bizarre reason I'm all of a sudden struggling to hear you. Let me try this again. I heard I heard about Skip, our dear friend Skip, who's one of our younger viewers. Let me just listen carefully. Ah, that, it was the vital word I was missing there. So Skip, I couldn't hear the word regurgitate, but now I can. So good morning to you. And uh, your question was, is it difficult for giraffe to regurgitate with such a long neck? Um, I don't think so. I think they adapted very well, and I think it's great that we're able to follow it. We can't really see the ball of, uh, of cud going up and down many of the other species next, so it's quite nice. So no, I don't think so. I think that they uh, have been assembled wonderfully, and yes, even though they do have long necks, I think regurgitating the food is probably not one of the hardest tasks that they have to perform. I think drinking water must be a little bit more difficult because firstly it's not just trying to get their head down to the surface of the water they first got to do the splits so and I don't know about you I can't do the splits Sebastian can you do the splits no. you've got to be seriously flexible Sebastian says no he can't also do the splits so I think that giraffe needs to do a couple of stretches first warm its muscles up then it has to spread its legs right out have you seen that it's it's amazing and if you've ever tried to do that if you put your legs as far apart as they can go and try and put your head to the floor unless you are a yoga master it's impossible for most of most of us to do that um so so skip I think regurgitating the food is not the problem I think trying to get down to have a drink is quite hard and I imagine trying to drink upside down every now and then I try and drink upside down when I have hiccups because that's supposedly uh, supposed to help and get rid of them but you always see them they take a big sip and then they s throw their heads back up again and losing a lot of water and well, spitting saliva everywhere when they come back up like that too so I think that's more difficult hey big man do you agree with me could you possibly just come over this way and drink some water so we can now demonstrate to everybody that has never seen a giraffe drinking water on how difficult it actually is and maybe if you've got some pictures some screenshots of giraffe drinking water already you can hashtag safari live with him dig in the archives and just show everybody the most amazing positions that a giraffe is able to get itself in to perform a simple task such as drinking water but even though he's one of the tallest creatures out here, I think it's fascinating that he disappears just behind the bushes. So he seems to be done now when it comes to regurgitating food. Now he needs to obviously refill his stomachs. So he's going to just munch on some fresh vegetation now. Hey boy, have you seen a leopard also, by the way? I just want to find out if you've seen a leopard, Mr. Giraffe, you can let me know. You can swish your tail twice and blink once. And then I should be able to guess. Yes. <laughs> Hello, beautiful boy. Oh, wow. Now, this is an interesting question that's come through from Lulu. And the question is, are giraffe one of the safer animals out in the bush? Lulu, I'm actually going to blow your mind right now. I'm going to say no. Looking at a giraffe, you think, oh, but it's so sweet. It just eats leaves. How could this animal possibly hurt me? Uh, I, I know of a case where a giraffe actually killed a person down in the Eastern Cape. Um, this giraffe, though, was 
hand raised, so it did have a more intimate relationship with humans. It knew that it could get food from humans. When it was quite young, it was bottle fed. And obviously this causes massive problems. And I think that giraffe just got too excited and being trampled by one is fairly easy, but they've got very powerful legs uh, very very powerful legs and if you get too close to a giraffe and it feels threatened just as it would if a lion or a leopard or something would get too close they will kick and chop at you so chopping with the front hooves sort of kicking their forwards uh, their legs forward and then their hind legs a very powerful uh, you know sort of kick to the back just as a horse would or a donkey or anything else that likes to kick even a zebra and that would knock you straight off of your feet I can tell you that right now so the chances of you getting close to a giraffe um, unless it was a, a tame one or one that had had many encounters with humans um, probably quite slim so you should be okay uh, I've had an encounter with a, a couple of young giraffe I went to an ostrich center in Otsuan and uh, which is in South Africa near the Kango caves and there were two young giraffe they were about I think with six months and about eight months or somewhere around there but just shy of a year and they were firstly they were taller than what I was and they were going to feed them what uh, what had happened was the mothers had died at various intervals they weren't sure why and the little ones were on their own so they made the decision it wasn't a free roaming reserve like what we have out here uh, so they made the decision to bring them in and to give them a second lease at life so they started bottle feeding them so I went in and I watched this whole process I was obviously just fascinated to see a giraffe up close and I got to touch one and I got to look at the hooves and while they were feeding uh, the young giraffe the six month old giraffe it actually took a step to the left and, and of course they're tall so their stride is much bigger than mine and then it ended up standing on my foot my goodness the pain that that caused me was unbelievable their hooves are also so sharp underneath remember there's no farriers out here to come and tend uh, and, and give the giraffes manicures so so firstly it felt like its hoof was about to cut through my leather shoe and and stab me and then of course the weight uh, that came with all of that giraffe was uh, impressive uh, so I wouldn't want to be stood on by an adult giraffe let alone a giraffe that only is six months old so I won't be doing that again anytime soon but an amazing experience to see its tongue like I said I got to see everything up close and they're also quite soft actually I'm trying to describe I don't know how to describe how they feel but those little ones because I suppose they had their coats weren't spoiled yet they hadn't spent too much time out in the wilderness and through the harsh environment so it was still lovely and soft it was lovely but what are you looking at now let me look where the giraffe's looking I suppose I better turn my head because he could spot something a lot quicker than I would he doesn't look too phased though he doesn't look too stressed just yet he's just observing and now he's looking at us looking straight towards you what have you seen I'm so sorry Chantal I cannot seem to hear your questions today let me play with the volume buttons very quickly can I try can we try again I'm just going to adjust all the levels here I'll turn them down a bit maybe that helps Getting no, I can't. I'm so sorry. I did you hear that question? I heard Tina, and then I can't make out what the rest of it is. Sebastian's unfortunately also having the same issue that I'm having this morning with comms. It started out great, but now they seem to be deteriorating, which is not great. So I'm so sorry, Tina. I, I can't hear your question, but if I do hear it a little bit later, we can always come back to it. But what I want to do is I want to move off from this giraffe. He's feeding into the thicket because Rex and, and I are still trying to find this leopard. And we've put it off for quite a while now, and that makes me a little bit concerned because that leopard could now be anywhere. I don't, we 